am not happy. These three words were the most familiar in the past four years of my life. In that time, many people would have graduated from universities and many more would have built businesses, but not me. I daily drove myself down a deep dark hole of self-inflicted depression which soon robbed me of the beautiful life which was only a change of perception away. I spent the quickly passing months in pain and despair, locking myself up in a prison that I now know I had created by myself in my own mind. I was at my lowest, broken, defeated and unsure about my life. I had spent many years creating something of myself that I could no longer understand. I felt like I was me, but still not me. I really just wanted to end it. There was a yearning in my heart for something and I couldn't quite place what it was, but I knew I didn't have it. I wanted sunshine, I wanted rain, but I locked myself indoors and asked everyone to stay away. I wanted to see God, I begged to hear, I prayed and prayed. I made money, I lost money, I got in debt, I got out of debt, I fell in love. And I loved till I was pushed out. I wanted sex, I wanted weed, I wanted to sleep, I wanted to eat. But most of all, I just wanted to be me. I had forgotten who I was. I'd look in the mirror and not know who stared back at me. And so I shaved my head, I lost a lot of weight, I changed my name, then I changed it again. I created folders in my computer and stored pictures from my past, just hoping to find a clue of who I was. I no longer loved what I used to love. I wanted to make some new music, but I couldn't even listen to my own music. And then I stopped listening to music altogether. I just couldn't stand the thing. How could the one thing I had worked all my life for suddenly not mean anything? And then one day, as though I was finally tired of cursing myself pain, it dawned on me that what I'd been looking for was there all along and all I had to do was flip my perception. I was looking for me. Only I was looking for me in the lost files that had now become my past. I soon realized there was no way I could find me by going back to searching the past. I had to learn that instead of finding myself, I could create myself. And to do that, I simply had to be me. In being me, I began to talk to me about all the things that were troubling me at the time and the solutions that I hoped would work for me. I began to write my thoughts down and I called my notes the truth on Tuesdays, talking to myself about myself. Except that as I was talking to me, you thought I was talking to you and you began to listen. And then you left me a comment and you said thank you and in the lines between all of your many comments I knew I had found what I was looking for and it had been there all along. My pain had taught me how to understand your own pain and renewed within me a new sense of purpose. You helped me heal because you allowed me to share with you and the better I felt the more I came to realize that I hadn't lived life at all. I am in a much better place right now, thank God. And I am ready to live life like I'd never lived life before. (laughs) And you are coming with me. And so much is about to change. But before change can occur, I must do a couple of things. I just want to share my life with you in the next 200 days and just show you all of these amazing things that I am creating and I don't want to ask questions and I don't want to worry and I don't want to think so much about anything. I just want to create. I just want to create and I and I and I and I want you to come with me on this creativity journey and and I, I want to open my mind to you. I want you to get into my mind. I want to communicate with you.